Welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. My name is Jonah. I am a student at Columbia River High School, and today we'll be showing movies made here and elsewhere by students. Every high school and most middle schools have video production programs where students can learn how to shoot and edit video, write scripts, build graphics, and do live shows. While they do all that, they're also building teamwork skills like communication, problem solving, and more. These programs are part of the district's career and technical education department. We're going to show you two film projects using a technique called the Kuleshov effect. This theory by a Russian director and editor is one of the most important concepts in filmmaking. The idea is that the order of a movie's shots can influence a viewer's perceptions. Let's take a look at Lev Kuleshov's original experiment. First, he showed this famous Russian actor, then a beautiful woman. It makes a viewer think his face is full of lust. Then, beginning with the exact same shot of the same actor, Kuleshov follows up with a shot of a child in a casket. Even though the shot hasn't changed, now his face appears to be sad. Finally, his face followed by a bowl of soup. The actor's face now appears to show his hunger. For students here at Columbia River, the assignment was to use this theory and create two versions of a film each with one different shot that would change the meaning of the film for the viewer. Let's take a look at one of them.
joined now by Tommy. Uh, so how hard was it to make a film like this, inspired by a concept? Oh, it wasn't so hard. I think the hardest part really was just figuring out how we are going to frame the shots. You know, wide, medium, close. The storyline was pretty simple. It, it really was just coming up with a shot selection. Okay, Mitchell, uh, you guys also um, made a Kuleshov effect film. Uh, before we go any further, let's uh, see what you guys came up with. Is that dad? Oh, hey dad. Rise and shine, son! Uh, I think the milk is bad. Can you go and get some on your run? No, the only reason I had kids was to get milk from the store. Fine dad, I'll go get milk. Well, I'm off for my run. See ya, sport. What's up, man? Um, yeah, Dad just went on a run. I think the milk is bad, so I gotta go and get some more. Okay. Hey, have you seen my keys? Yeah, I got them. Hey. Kind of fun. Hey dude, have you seen dad? I haven't heard from him, man. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up eventually.
Is that dad? Oh, hey dad. Rise and shine, son! Uh, I think the milk is bad. Can you go and get some on your run? No, the only reason I had kids was to get milk from the store. Fine, Dad. I'll go get milk. Well, I'm off for my run. See ya, sport. Hey, bro, what's up? What's up, man? Um, yeah, Dad just went on a run. I think the milk is bad, so I gotta go and get some more. Okay. Hey, have you seen my keys? Yeah, I got them. Kind of fun. What's up, man? Hey, dude. Have you seen Dad? I haven't heard from him, man. Well, I'm sure he'll turn up eventually. What's up? Hey. That was a pretty great video, Mitchell. Did you have any inspirations for this, or uh, what was your creative process? Uh, well, we wanted something that was visually drawing to the audience, something that really felt strong, and that was basically our main inspiration for the film. So how much planning did you guys put into this film? Uh, you know, how much was written versus how much did you improvise? So we wrote a lot. We wrote the main storyline script. We had the scenes all down, um, and then we improvised with some of the words, and some of the shots, but mostly it was, well, we planned a lot and we did exactly how we planned, so. You guys uh, shot this during class periods, right? Um, so how hard was it uh, to make this film in such limited periods of time and intervals? Well, we shot off of uh, campus, so we, after school, got our equipment. Luckily we can rent our equipment. We went out to our locations, shot it, um, but we did have it all planned out for what days, so it wasn't that hard. Uh, Tommy, your room? Yeah, no, same thing with Mitchell. Uh, the videos were only supposed to be one to one and a half minutes each, culminating in like a two, three minute thing all together. And usually what we do is four or five minutes, and we had like three weeks to get it done. Oh, well, thank you for your time. Thanks for having us. Our pleasure. <laughs> Our next group of films come from Skyview High School. These were entries in the Regional Skills USA competition, where high school students have just one weekend to make a film based on a theme. The theme for these students was friendship. 
take a look at what they came up with. Man, I really want a cookie right now. Jackpot. Man, I'm hungry. That's a pretty nice cookie, my dude. Yeah, I know. Well, can I have some? No. Well, it's fine. I'll just make my own, I guess. Well, can I have some at least? No. Well, this is war! Ooh, my favorite hat. Well, it was good while it lasted.
that's me, in the good old high school days. Back when taking a break was not an option, every second was go, go, go. Every day was school, football, study, and I trained hard, I had to be the best. I barely made time for myself. Tonight, I took part in my guilty pleasure, gaming, with none other than my best friend. Yo, Kyle, you there? Locked, loaded, and ready to dominate. Let's get it, baby! Kyle and I's friendship is a complicated one. We met online while playing this video game, and found out we went to the same school. But something always perplexed me about Kyle. For some reason, I always found myself envying him. On paper, there is no reason I should be jealous of Kyle. I'm in much better shape. I've got more work ethic when it comes to getting good grades. My phone is always getting pulled up while Kyle barely checks his. Yet for some reason, I wish I could be Kyle. Something, something about him has always made me jealous. Of all the people I could be jealous of, he should have been the last one. All right, man, gotta get back to studying. Come on, man, didn't you study earlier? Yeah, but we got a big test tomorrow. You should get off and stay too. <laughs> You worry too much, man. I'll see you tomorrow. I spent my school days studying and in class, then went to football practice after school. While Kyle spent his days on his phone and about one pillow away from sleep, we were best friends, but the way we acted in person, you would have no idea. You there? Psh, where else would I be? You could go study. And be miserable? Nah, man, I'm happy sitting where I am. Classic Kyle, never wanted to do anything other than game. All right, I gotta get off. Dude, it's nine o'clock on a Friday. What are you doing getting off so early? I gotta be up early for the science fair. Man, and I thought I was supposed to be the loser. <laughs> I killed it at the science fair. Although I knew the best part of my weekend was gonna be spent in my chair playing games with my best friend. Yo, Kyle. Kyle? I'd never been online when Kyle wasn't. This was the first for me. I thought I was gonna be bored until Kyle did get online. But I wasn't. I played all sorts of stuff and I had a blast while doing it. So much so that three hours later, I was still playing solo. Yo. Hey, what's up, man? Extremely stressed out. I hate studying, man. It's not that bad. Says the one who's always stressed out. What are you talking about? Whenever you get on, you're always pretty upset or on edge. To be honest, I always see you that way. The only time I ever notice you happy is when we play games. You should play more. Nah, man. I, I play just enough. Playing too much is bad for you. That's why I'm the one who's always happy, and you're the one who's always stressed out. Prioritize yourself for once. Kyle? Right then and there, it clicked for me. The reason I was always jealous of Kyle wasn't because of anything exterior. It was that he was happy while I was always stressed out. In the coming weeks, I would quit football, focus less on studying, and care less about what the people around me thought. But most importantly, I will play video games with my best friend. Yo, Kyle. Is that the man, the myth, the legend, Drake? Of all the people to take advice from on how to live, Kyle should have been the last one. I'm just glad he was the one. Nice job, guys. Our final piece is not a film, but a promotional video for the Water Resources Center, produced by a Skyview student.
The Water Resources Education Center is a public facility and we're part of the city of Vancouver. Our job is to help folks in our community learn about their water resources and how we can all work together to make wise choices about our water. <laughs> actually meet with a, a mom's play group um, once a week, um, mom's club, and today we just, we always pick a different activity or place to meet, and today, because it's rainy out, um, we just thought this would be a great indoor activity for the kids today. It's like going to OMSI, but close to home. If you'd like to learn more about the Water Center, contact us at 360-487-7111. We're open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturdays from noon to 5. That's it for us. Remember that if you want to watch past episodes and see more student films, you can find them on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash TV. Just look for the Young Filmmakers Project playlist. Thanks for watching the show. Until next time, I'm Jonah.